With the eyedropper tool, you can select the color range so that we can use the desired color in the project. Or pick the color code or use the color data of the selected color. If you pay attention to the sample size section, you can select a 3 in 3 or 5 in 5 pixels and so on and choose the color of our range. The 3D tool is used for 3D material, which we have nothing to do with it in this section. The color sampler tool opens a box dialog that indicates what the specification of this color are. Now we add another dot to display the specification of this color. One of the application of this color is for a photo whose colors are close to each other. Next tool is the ruler tool. By dragging this tool on the image, Photoshop shows us all the specification of this line draw on this section. The next tool is the node tool. When we work in a company and we are in a design team, we tell the next person who is going to work on the project, for example, to remove this girl from the picture. For this purpose, click on this girl and write our message in the open box. In this case, if we click on the created note, the written message will be displayed for us. The next tool is the count tool, which is used for counting. For example, number the shapes you want and explain what you need to do on each one. Now, for example, I can change the color here. Also apply its size and save these changes in the project. 